Not too long ago, Crytek updated the MMR system from a chess-like ELO system to something called Open Skill MMR. This has left many questions to players as to how this new system works, so I've done some research and I'm here to share my findings. If you didn't know, previously the MMR system was very simple. If you kill a guy, you gain rating. If you die, you lose rating. However, the amount of rating varied based on who you killed or who killed you. If the guy who killed you had a lower rating than you, you would lose a lot of rating since you died to a worse player and vice versa. If you kill a guy of equal rank, you'd gain and he'd lose an equal amount. This made it easy to derank by just repeating repeatedly dying. Now with open skill MMR, it's a bit deeper than just kills and deaths. Now I must state I don't know what parameters Crytek is using to determine skill level, but we can get a general idea of what's happening by knowing what and how open skill MMR works. Open skill MMR has a system to measure the average skill of the player, in this case we will assume kills and deaths. It also consists of something that I will call a confidence modifier for simplicity's sake. The confidence modifier is essentially how confident the MMR system is in making changes to the player's level of skill early on having low confidence in the player due to lack of data, making MMR changes bigger and more volatile in the beginning, but as more matches are played and more data is gathered on how the player is performing, the confidence increases making the MMR adjustments a lot smaller and more accurate. That might be a bit confusing, so I will try my best to explain an example. Let's say we have a new player, he's a 1 star. In his first game he kills 6 players because perhaps he has a good FPS background and he chose the marathon and was just spamming all the other newbies in the lobby and dropping them. The MMR having low confidence in determining what his skill level is, will throw him up into let's say 4 star lobbies for his next game. While this match he does nothing but die and get farmed since he doesn't have any game sense and 4 star players are just too good for him. However the MMR algorithm has a higher confidence now and knows his skill level is within 2-3 to three stars since he dominates 1 star lobbies and sucks in 4 star lobbies. So when the MMR system puts him into 2 star lobbies and he starts slamming all the new kids again, now it puts him into 3 star lobbies and he starts to level off. He's winning gunfights maybe 50-50 now and he continues to play for a week in 3 star lobbies and let's say by the end of the week he has now played 100 games. Not actually likely to do that but for simplicity's sake let's pretend he did 100 games. The MMR system now has all this data on his matches. He hasn't been able to move up or kill that many of the 4 stars that leak into his lobbies but he's dominating people lower than him and he's pretty even against people equal to him. So the MMR system is now very confident that this guy is a 3 star player. So now no matter how many deaths he has in a row, it will be practically impossible for him to derank back to 2 star because the MMR system has seen how he performs against 3 stars and is very confident that is where he belongs. Even if he were to queue Soul Survivor matches and play against 1 star players and die to 20 of them in a row, the MMR system has a level of certainty that this player's true skill level is higher than what is perceived in these matches. Now that's very simplified and it isn't as simple as just comparing how he's doing versus players at a certain star level as they also have these calculations going on. Just because you're one star doesn't mean you're trash. I can make a new account right now and I'm still a 6 star player. To sum it up, it measures your average skill and maintains a level of uncertainty about your true skill. The more data you feed it, the more accurate this becomes. It works way quicker than traditional MMR systems so it only takes a few games to really measure out your skill level.